all you goddamn nerds, and welcome back to whatever the heck this is. I kind of forgot what I called it, but whatever. Anyway, today, we're going to be watching this cow do his thing. Hey, buddy. How are you? Touch the cow. No, I'm just kidding. That's not what we're doing. Today, we're going to be talking about tips and things to do when you're building walls and houses. Don't look at those. They're both ugly. And they they all serve a purpose. All right, don't don't judge me. All right, so the first thing I want to talk about is this, this right here. Now, if you can't tell me what's wrong, that's why you're here because this is never okay. Everything is wrong with this right here. You can't like logically speaking, this dirt gets wet. Everything falls down. It's structural support terrible. I mean, I know that doesn't work in Minecraft, but still, it's God, it's so ugly. And and third, it's just, it's so ugly. Like, just do that. How hard is it? Now, everything looks better. Everyone is happy. There is no trash. It's, everything is solved. Another thing that I want to talk about here is flat surfaces. Ah, oh, I hate flat surfaces so, so much. Especially when there's no breakup in what you're building with. This is something you never want to see. First, we want to take just take some pillar right here. Boom. One problem solved. Not all. It's not the same thing, but I still don't like it. So we're gonna take do this. All right. Now we now it's not as ugly, but there's still a support problem. It's just a straight wall. So we're gonna get some stone brick stairs, and we're gonna go over here. And we're gonna do. We're gonna do this. Now it's looking all the more better. We're gonna get rid of this. These battlements, this is what I call trash. These battlements are terrible. Never do it. So what we're gonna do instead, is we're gonna bring this wall up. We're gonna make it taller. Then, we're gonna add stair here. And then, we're gonna add stair here except in these places right here. I'm going to put pillar here, pillar here, stair here, stair here, stair here. Then, doop, 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 doop. Stone slabs. Look at this. We already have a wall that's a million times better. But we can do more. Chisel. Ch chisel. Chisel. Ch how do you spell that? Chisel stone bricks. Alright, so. Take this chiseled motherfucker right here. Put him. Plop him down. Boom. Look, we already have something that's 20 times better. I still don't know it. I want to do something here, but I don't know what to do. Oh, I know. Let's add a little break up here. Boop. Missing bricks. Showing wear. We're gonna show some wear here. Now, the best place to put cracked brick is right around the base, right around these pillars. So we're gonna put them right here. Maybe another right here. And the thing about this is we do not want symmetry. Now, I always stress symmetry is very important in the main design. However, in texture, like crack stuff, you do not want that to be symmetrical at all. No. Bad. Never do that. It, it, the wear and tear is supposed to be natural, and if I want you to go outside and I want you to look at the nature, and I want you to tell me how much of the nature is symmetrical, the answer is probably none of that nature is symmetrical. In fact, I want you, I'll, never mind, I'll tell you to do that later. I know, asking you to go outside just once right now is a little much, but there we go. This wall is already so much better. But you're asking, okay, so what if we want it to make it go up like that? Well, I'll show you here. I'll just pick this dirt up. Because, I mean, I, I pick dirt up. I don't know what you guys pick up. Just, look, I'm a lazy bum. Don't judge me. Alright, so. There's some things you want to keep. The wall is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, something like that. 5 bricks. Who the hell knows? Five. Yeah, it's five. So we want to continue the same pattern. We're gonna 
times three of them. The same pattern with this. Same thing going on here. Still the same thing happening. We're just bringing everything up a little. Don't. Don't. Do. 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 Now, what you can do if you want is you can take this and you can place that bit with stair. But that's only if you want to. If you think that looks good, then by all means do it. But I'm going to stick with this right here because it has that solid half step transition here and I like it when it does that. I like my transitions to be pretty because that's the kind of person that I am. And we're going to do this. Bring this down. Please just do as I say. Something like that, so you can go up, and back here you have all this, and voila, look, it's so much prettier. And you can even do brick wall. Something I sometimes do is I'll sometimes take wall, put it on the outside, like that. And you don't have to do that if you don't want to do that, but that's something I'll do sometimes. I won't always do it, but I'll do it sometimes, just for the pick of it, and uh, I'll put torches on the pillars back here, and that's where I'll keep the torches. Now, let's move on to houses. So, both of these are terrible houses, in my opinion. That just shows some things you can do to make a house look better, and this is just trash. I'm going to tell you why it's trash. One thing, it's completely symmetrical. Like, on every side, it it's symmetrical. And that's terrible. Another thing, it's completely two-dimensional. Like, what? What this? It's flat, and it's boring, and yes, it is more realistic than that hunk of junk. But it's so simple and boring. And I, for one, hate wooden doors. I don't like them. What I use is the new wooden gate. I take the wooden gate, and, bloop, bloop, and I use that rather than wooden doors. I just think it looks better, and it looks more like a fancy door to me in that time period. Or, I mean, if you're in the time period of, um, well, most of the people who are on my channel, that's the kind of time period, that's why I use that door. Now, let's have a look at this monstrosity here. It is not what the kids call symmetrical in any way, shape, or form, um, but that's fine. Now, another thing here is contrast. This is literally just spruce. But here we have our basic wooden uh, hatch, these cherry wood fences, your fence gate. And we're also breaking up this two-dimensional surface. We're adding support and all of this other stuff on the outside. We're also adding a second floor that branches out over from the second, or the first floor, which goes out, and then uh, we're adding this excursion here, out from there as a little awning, I suppose you could call it, and we would put an entrance here, and that's how you would get in the house, and somewhere I was going to put a chimney. I don't know where I was going to put it, but somewhere maybe I was going to take out this corner and put out a chimney, but anyway, things you can do to make your house better. You can take spruce stair, or whatever stair you're using to build, and put it along the edges. Another thing, you don't have, please never have your roof out just on top of it. I don't, some people do that, I cannot stand it. Another thing is you should probably take your spruce, just let's get rid of this, blah blah blah, we're gonna boop boop boop, you suck, go away and do this for your solid frame work of the house instead of just having four pillars which you can see that I've done here solid framework and that's something I would honestly recommend building first build the framework of the house build the skeleton 
of your house before you start building the other mumbo jumbo. Another, so, one thing you can do here is just this, this kind of thing supporting it. I like it. I think it looks cool. These outside of the windows, below them. Try and be a little fancy with your windows. I would not use glass. That's one thing. If you're making a more medieval style house, I most of the common houses did not use glass. Glass was an expensive thing, and only the fancy places got glass. So, scrap that. Glass is not something most people used, or a lot of people had. And then, so I just use fence instead. You can do design like this, and change the level of things, excurt it, jet bits out, make it a little fancier and nicer and more interesting. You can also have these weird things um, that sort of out skirt windows. I know if you look at an actual house you can see what I'm talking about. There are these little room windows that kind of stick out from the roof. If I had a slanted roof I, I could probably show you, you know, whatever. We'll build one. So we're gonna make our slanted roof here. And just, just for this, by the way, it's, it's not actually going to be fully, I'm not going to do that to the whole thing, but I'm just going to give you an idea of what I mean, because that example over there is bad. Alright, so, let's find the middle of this, I don't know, there's no middle, whatever. And another thing well, I'm going to talk about is when you're building a house, don't be symmetrical. I know that's something weird to say, and it, it's probably going to hurt a lot of people to try and not be symmetrical. But, your build is going to turn out a lot more interesting to look at if it isn't completely symmetrical. Like, have one of these on one side. Don't have it on both sides. Just one side is enough. And we have it leaning out like that. Like so. And we have this thing. Leave it like that, or you can do something like this. I don't know. Depends on whatever you want to do with your life. I'm not your mother. I don't know. I'm just going to screw around with this for five seconds. Do I like that? No. Okay. But you can do something like that. Have a jet out on the outside. It's your build. Do whatever you want. But I think I like having things like this on the outside that you would put bring this out, put something in here like a glass or fence, really doesn't matter, but now you're on the outside, you have something that looks nicer, you have more to look at, and you can do things like that. Chimneys are important, uh, I can give you an example of chimney, hold on, stone, pillar, alright, so, an example chimney, if you're just making a small chimney, you can do something like that, and that always works, but that's kind of more of a modern, like, chimney. You can do something similar, but make it a little bigger. My nose was itching, alright? Don't judge me. Stop it. Stop judging me, okay? It happens. Boink. And there you have a more advanced chimney. Hold on. Yay. And then you would go with whatever the way the wind is going, which I can't tell, but I think it's going this way. And there, there you have it. It's a different chimney. And that you can add to the side of houses, build it in, work it in, usually underneath the fireplace, because most houses had fireplaces, and they were actually used. Not like nowadays, where you have one, but they're kind of just there for aesthetic. 
And another thing I, could, I was thinking about with Windows, this was just an idea I've been tossing around, but we have these new gates here. I'm just gonna see, how does this look? I mean, you can use that kind of thing as a window if you wanted. But I think they're cool. Like, I love these new gates. I, I don't know if I've told you all that, but these gates are really fantastic, and I love them like the bits, but if you're like barring something up, you can put this in front of it. It's just, they're fantastic. Not only for their function, but for aesthetic purposes, they're great. I love it. And, yeah, I guess that's it for this episode. I uh, hope you learned something, and I hope that your builds look better from now on. Or, you don't learn anything, and you were just here to listen to me rant about something, which in that case, I'm not really sure why you were here, because that would probably not be very entertaining for you. But, thank you all so, for, so much for watching, and I will see you guys in another video, possibly a remodeling video. There have been so many new spawn structures that I can work on, but whatever. I'll see you guys in the next video.